Now we come to another key component in the Smart Lab system, the Vortec airflow transmitter. Looking downstream, two Vortec shedders can be seen in the middle of the airstream. The principle of physics, known as vortex shedding, is the basis for TechAir's patented digital approach to airflow measurement. When an obstacle, such as the trapezoidal-shaped shedder in a vortex probe, is placed in the path of airflow, spiraling eddy currents are created. These vortices, in accordance with the laws of physics, are shed in alternating fashion from one side of the shedder to the other. TechAir measures the rates at which these vortices are produced converting alternating pulses into digital signals for the precise measurement of airflow volume. Typical examples of vortex shedding from everyday life are eddy currents around rocks in a stream or the waving motion of a flag caused by air currents around the flagpole. Here the vortex sensor and a traditional pitot sensing system are mounted together in a test duct for a twofold comparison. First, we'll compare the rangeability of vortex and differential pressure measurement by reducing flow velocity. Then, we'll compare the ability of the two sensors to withstand contamination. With the vortex sensor, the signal changes in direct proportion to flow velocity. With PITO or orifice type devices, the signal that is measured changes in proportion to the square of the flow. When flow velocity is reduced by 50%, Vortec indicates a proportional output of 50%. The new reading for the PITO sensor is 25%, the square root of 50. With 75% reduction in flow velocity, the Vortec reading shows a corresponding 75% reduction, but the differential pressure reading is reduced by 94%. At only 12% of the maximum flow velocity, the differential pressure signal virtually disappears. To simulate contamination, both sensors were sprayed with an oil-based film followed by flour. In about a minute, the PITO system reading is inordinately low, indicating that it has been plugged. The Vortec probe, however, continues to function. Flow velocity, which is in the neighborhood of 900 feet per minute, is accurately reflected. As you can see, the pressure ports of the pitot sensor, which are in direct line with airflow, have been clogged, and that's why the reading measuring flow has dropped off, an indication that this type of probe and most pitot probes are prone to clogging of the pressure ports. The Vortec probe shows similar contamination, but a close-up of the shedder edge shows that it has remained relatively clean. Meanwhile, the rear of the probe port, where measurement is made, remains clear. This demonstrates the Vortec probe's ability to resist duct contaminants typically produced in fume hood experiments. The digital Vortec sensor has performed better in both tests. Modulating in direct proportion to the velocity of air passing by it, the Vortec sensor provides superior accuracy in air volume measurement compared to conventional differential pressure sensors where the signal changes in proportion to the square of the flow and under conditions of significant contamination, where pitot-type sensors tend to clog, the Vortex sensor keeps right on performing.